ask you something first? Or sorry, I'm not asking. Can I tell you something personal? I, I don't. I feel like I can. It's something I couldn't tell John, or wouldn't anyway. It's up to you. But I warn you, if you tell me something personal, I might do the same. Okay. I think, I think sex is overrated. I think people place too much importance on it. And I think all that stuff about women wanting it just as bad is crap. I mean, I, I think women want it, but just not for the same reasons that men think they do. I guess I'm getting confused. <laughs> do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? I think so. I remember reading somewhere that men learn to love what they're attracted to, whereas women become more and more attracted to the person they love. Yes. Yes, I think that's very true. Very. So what about kids? Kids, what about them? Do you want them? Yeah, actually I do, but um, he's uh, not ready yet. Why is that? I don't know. I asked him, but he always says, not now. So I quit asking. What's your personal thing? Are you really going to tell me something personal? Do you want me to? Yeah. Unless it's gross, like a <laughs> scar or something. It's something like what I said, like something about you. Agreed. I'm impotent. You're what? Impotent. You are? Well, let me put it this way. I cannot achieve an erection while in the presence of another person. So for all practical purposes, I'm impotent. Does it bother you? Not usually. I mean... Honestly, I haven't known many guys that could think straight with an erection, so I feel I'm way ahead of the game as far as being clear-headed goes. Does it make you self-conscious? Yeah, I'm self-conscious, but not in the same way you are. You've got to be the most attractive, self-conscious person I've ever seen. Why do you say I'm self-conscious? Well, I've been watching you. <laughs> 